I finished assembling the entire wire system with all its fittings and I'm ready to give its first test run. So we were in a dry fit stage. Now we're in a wet run stage. And if we're lucky, we will not immediately go into a frantic mopping stage. Okay, let me give you a rundown of how it's all laid out. So I'm gonna filter the water coming in from the municipal source, which will go to an infill that will be ultimately mounted to a surface, uh, a cover that goes on the back here. On the back side, you can see the gray wire system uh, with the little snake and a Y split, so we can go either between the gray tank or the ground, as well as a quick disconnect. Uh, down on the left here, we have the hot and cold that goes up, as well as a dedicated line for the drinking water filter uh, that's also attached to the system. The whole thing is laid out modularly because unlike other van builds which permanently uh, attach everything, I have to take everything out uh, when I'm using my van for cargo for my business. So we have it laid out as three modules, the sink with the heater, this board mounted to these silver rails that has all the equipment, and the water tank. Attached to the water tank is our uh, fill line, our air, our line out uh, to the pump, and then a drain. and. Uh, over here, we have the silencer lines on either side of the tank to dampen the vibrations, uh, wire pump accumulator, uh, on-off valves also so we can um, service things. Then we go out to a split, a, white, a first T-split that goes out into the drinking water filter. The second white uh, T-split goes out to the cold line and then to the hot, uh, to the hot water. So, if everything is working correctly, then I should be able to produce not just pressurized wire, but hot steamy wire on demand. Let's give it a try. Okay, first we'll try the cold. Ah, and there it is. Now let's try the hot. And there's that. Let's see. And it's already hot. Perfect. Do we have our steam? Ah, there it is. <laughs> 